Because if you're born poor, you're more likely to stay poor in this country than other wealthy nations. There are ladders that can be used to climb up and get on, but they aren't being extended to everyone. Politics, law, journalism, business, wonderful jobs, but still operating like closed shops. Three quarters of senior judges, nearly half of journalists, are from private schools which educate just 7% of the population. This is not an accident of talent. This is inequality of opportunity entrenched in the recruitment practices of professions that hire in their own image. Civil service should set the standard on open recruitment and open opportunity. Listen to the latest statistic. Of the 654 graduates who made it onto the civil service fast stream, just 25 were from working class backgrounds. And that makes me angry. Conference, talent is class blind, but Britain is still not. The ex-Scottish union leader, Jimmy Reid, used to talk about looking behind the windows of every council estate and high-rise flats. Because behind every one of those windows, there is someone who might be a judge, a vice chancellor, a politician, a CEO. Look at Alan Johnson, from the London slums to the cabinet table, never went to university, but an Orwell book prize winner. We need more of these stories. But this government won't act. Why would they change a system that suits them? This is a Tory party that auctions off top internships to the highest bidder at its fundraisers. A Tory party with more privately educated members of the cabinet than women. It's no wonder they haven't adopted a single recommendation that Alan Milburn's Social Mobility Commission has made. Well, today, I'm announcing that a Labour government will act. Work experience, hugely important for young people. It can open so many doors, but we need to make sure it opens doors for everyone, not just those in the know. It's up to all of us, government, businesses, trade unions, to work together on this. Not only is this right, but the whole of Britain benefits when we release all of Britain's talent. And there are people doing it. Now, here's a publication you don't hear praised that often at a Labour conference. The Spectator magazine. Each summer, it takes work experience kids from the Social Mobility Foundation scheme, giving bright students without connections that foot in the door, and I congratulate them for it. And good companies, they already monitor the race, gender and disability of their staff they should monitor social background too. The legal profession is already doing it and others should follow. So I can tell you today that a Labour government will work to ensure this is done in the public sector.